Hello, you. Yes, you very good. Oh my gosh. Hi, how are you doing? I'm growing my cup of tea. I'm whispering because it's about quarter past six and Adam is still in bed. At the minute he's in the spare room because um, he is beyond tired. He's actually looking into, um, he had some blood tests and we think he might have hemochromatosis, which sounds really serious and it is potentially, but if you deal with it, it's not serious. Gotta jump straight in with the news, <laughs> with, with some of the news. Um, and yeah, so he also snores, so I'm just, he's really tired at the minute, so I don't want to be waking him up and telling him to stop snoring and stuff like that. So he's actually downstairs. And every night it's funny because we hug each other and we say, no, it won't last forever. So yeah, um, I'm Rachel. I'm a mum of three. I've got Arthur who's eight, Beatrix is six, and little Stanley is six months on Thursday. I thought he was six months two weeks ago and then I counted the weeks and I was like, oh my gosh, you've aged him two weeks. So yeah, I'm um, a stay at home, work at home mum. I do YouTube and, blog and blogging as well. However, I've had a really patchy time since I had Stan. I've been like back on it, back off it, back on it, back off it, which is me all over really, as you'll know if you know me. And um, I, yeah, I just, um, we've had obviously, you know, new baby and just like life stuff going on. And I'm really conscious that I look at all state. I don't normally get up this early. Uh, I normally wait till Stanley wakes up, which is normally about seven, quarter seven. Um, what happens with Stanley at the minute? I'm going to do a video, by the way, on his six month routine because um, I think those videos are really interesting, aren't they? Just because who doesn't want to compare their routine with somebody else's routine? <laughs> Not that we feel like we've got it nailed or got it right, but his sleep is improved. Uh, we went through a four month sleep regression, as you guys may know, and that's probably one of the most recent times that I just kind of went off the grid a bit. Uh, just to kind of nail down and knuckle down on life and not have to think about things like doing videos. Not that I don't enjoy them, I've really missed YouTube and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll do a video on that. Yeah, so his thing at the minute is sleeping through, but he wakes up about five and just starts chatting. So you have to go in and just pop his dummy in and walk away and then he just goes straight back to sleep. So it's absolutely fine. Normally I, I go back to sleep too, but this morning it was like 17 minutes past five, went in, did that, and I was just lying there wide awake and you know and you just think, may as well just get up because he's gonna be up at kind of quarter to seven. So yeah, the clock, the, the, ch the village bells were striking six o'clock and I thought, oh, get up. And I was also really looking forward to vlogging, so I decided to vlog today. Um, so yeah, the plan, I say the plan, because often the plan doesn't happen. The plan today is to go kind of rock climbing somewhere, do a little walk. I've finally got a back carrier for Stan, which means that we can actually take him on decent, like, well I say decent, I would never attempt a really long walk right now because we're all a bit tired. Um, you know, a, cu a couple of miles maybe, or just like head out on a little stroll to some rocks because Arthur's desperate to rock climb. It's his new, well it's not his new thing, he's always liked rock climbing, but we're trying to kind of really reinforce that because it's a good outdoors thing. So yeah, that's the plan and everyone will, everyone will probably get up about half seven, eight or something like that. I'll go and get a stand at seven. So between now and seven, I'm just gonna have this cup of tea and chill out. It was a gorgeous start to the morning when I went in and put a wash on, I'm trying to just get on top of things at the minute. The house is mayhem after a week of half term, as I'm sure yours is. Um, and yeah, there was a poor little mouse with its little, it wasn't even its head, it was like its face had been ripped off and it, the face was here and the body was here. Hello, are you playing with your blankets? Hello.
ready for a high chair in a restaurant we might try him in a high chair sometimes and some of them he just slumps over and some of them he can get on with quite well we've got the ikea one but it's in the shed and i just haven't got around to getting out yet yeah i'll show you through the day what we feed him so for breakfast he had baby porridge like a carrot gate fruity baby porridge but he had wheat weeks yesterday for the first time uh yeah so i'm just trying to mix it up a little bit He's having uh, shop-bought baby food and homemade baby food, but definitely of the three of them, he's having most, he's having more shop-bought stuff than the other two ever had, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I've got more on my plate. Who's that little shop-bought baby food baby? Sponsored by Karen Gate. We're gonna do microwave eggs, which is literally, put your egg in a little bowl, a little ramekin, pop a plate on top, and microwave it to 30 to 40. So I put it on 40 and stop it at 35, and that uh, tends. So that is 35 seconds, and it is runny and cooked, and you just slide it onto your toast. Cornflake emergency. Stan was responsible. Stanny, how could you knock the cornflakes over? Uh, right, well, before the dog eats cornflakes and vomits them over, I better just use our dustbin. Is that okay? <laughs> Bee is having, having beans, salmon, tea, tomatoes. You don't want cornflakes. You're not much of a cornflake girl. I need a sample cornflake girl. <laughs> Teaching B. Uh, yeah. Bee, is he letting you have a go? Oh, but she's Came back in to get Stan to put him down for his nap. He's already down. Well, I'm just going to transfer him to his nursery. Stanley, 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 no, not you, Stanley, Stan. Anyway, we've made proper firmer plans, so like I said, it's 10.15 and uh, we were just looking at how busy it is. We live bang in the centre of probably the most visited part of the Peak District and uh, it's a beautiful day outside. It's uh, like yesterday, it was like 15 degrees or even maybe even warmer. In our gardens, like a sun trap, we were like sat outside, actually hot, like talking about buying some sun loungers. Um, yeah, so it's super, super busy out there. So you kind of have to think, oh, is it a good idea kind of setting off loads of people? And so we just thought, you know what, we just bought this back carrier. There's a little, tiny little dog stroll uh, that the kids will totally accept the length of and it's got a little river, it's really, really close by. It's Clematis. We're just doing a little garden tour with Ad, who is the gardener, not me, obviously. There are the chickies. Hello, chickens. Oh, there's one missing. Yeah, so the plan is uh, just to kind of put raised beds here and have like an allotment patch here and then we were also thinking of having a um greenhouse, greenhouse. yeah Sound i mean it's all true. money isn't it and time that's the thing Ooh. hello <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> that means feed me. <laughs> feed me so yeah i'll just show you what he's had it's just going, going to recycling that's why it's in the sink uh yeah he's had half of this kind of spanish 
pork, well I say Spanish, but that's because I make a Spanish pork casserole, uh, succulent pork casserole, it says from seven months but that's because it's got a few little lumps and a bit of texture and I think you just know your baby don't you and he can cope with that, if there's any bigger lumps that he doesn't like he just kind of spits them out, so he's had half of that and he's having a little, I think the Heinz apple and banana pot but I've said to Adam to only give him half of that. Uh, I just needed to come and get a bit of extra milk to pop him down with and then we'll get on with lunch. Adam's got six music on and it's got some random medieval whistling song on. Somebody's back. Didn't have the Guess who's back? Back again. Stanley's back. Uh, yeah, so he's back uh, way earlier than Sod's Law. He's been really good recently at going down for the full two hours, two and a half hours really, ideally. Uh, and sometimes he wakes up and then you have to settle him back down, but I can always tell when he's not oh, really going to settle back down because you're just like, mm, I'm awake. Mm -mm. Hey, hey, I, oh, I think we need to get the kids down to the river anyway, so that's the flip side. We have Stanley in a baby carrier. Wasn't stressful at all for him, putting him in. Honestly, he didn't have an, ar an argument or anything, I promise. <laughs> anyway, he's in now. Everything always looks simple, doesn't it? And then when you actually do it, you're like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, he's in, he's in, he's in. And we have a picnic rug and a flask of tea. Uh, we're not going far. Yeah. What have you got ready salted? Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, it's really nice. Mm. It's homemade. This one's homemade. I believe it. So my battery went a little, a little while ago, which I had to charge it again. I don't know what's up with it. I'm having to charge it several times a day. I need to do one. All you missed was I sat in the garden and had a beer and some crisps and then I got up to go into the kitchen with the beer oh, in hand and a bowl and an empty bowl that the crisps were in and Hugo had wrapped himself around my leg with his lead and I fell over. <laughs> Adam was uh, taking the mic off saying that I was drunk. I promise I'm not drunk. But on that subject, I do recognise, obviously, I made quite a fanfare and I quit booze and um, people must be like, oh, what, so you're drinking again? So I am drinking again, but I'm having, like, don't get me wrong, I, ha I do have, like, oh, I'm sorry. Drop water, water, do you want some water? I have like the odd night out in the diary, like we went to see Studio Dan the other night with my parents and and had quite a few drinks and stuff and that was fine. Um, 
and like a mom's night or like friends will come over and stay and they're great and I have <laughs> I have like um like this like a beer on a weekend or like a glass of wine yesterday at the restaurant we went to but what I'm not slipping back into is just like regularly having a lot to drink and being mindful of it and I feel like I needed to go through that process and where I'm at now is I'm, I'm perfectly happy and comfortable with where I'm at now and in a weird way though I miss the absolute buzz of being totally alcohol free because you literally bounce off the walls with energy um, and I absolutely love being alcohol free and so like the majority of the time I am alcohol free but you don't get the benefits I don't think unless you go entirely alcohol free <clears throat> and I'm not saying that I'll never go back to that but from where I'm <laughs> look at him, he's like, yeah, yeah, so interested. Um, <laughs> where I'm at right now, this is a good place because I did feel like I was missing out and I did feel like I was missing social. You, you're actually not missing out when you don't drink, but I wasn't interested in going to certain things because I just thought I won't be asked unless I'm having a drink. And that's the truth of it. I would have just come home at nine o'clock and I do miss a lot of, you know, I miss like red wine with cheese or a Sunday lunch or like, I know I miss all that, but I also miss the social side of having a few drinks and letting loose that thing of like, I'm a mom in charge of three kids all the time and it feels really good to be out without children with the drink and just like letting loose and being a bit wild and like remembering that side of yourself. So. Yeah, I'm rambling, but just if I say I am drinking and it's not a problem and I was never physiologically in any way addicted to alcohol, but I was more in a habitual too much to drink loop and I needed to get out of it. Adam was like, oh my God, it's the worst fish I've ever cooked um, because it all stuck to the pan. That is just sod's law, a bit like his routine today going wrong. That's just the way it goes. Now you are pleased that you've got our involvement. He's done. He's so splashy. If the camera's going to wet, I'm going to stop. It's all clean and all lovely. Ooh, I'm just coming in here for one second. Can you see me? Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to leave it there because um, I, yeah, did the kids a bath and obviously I couldn't really show you that for obvious reasons. And back at school, thank God, tomorrow. So I've like washed the hair and stuff and laid out the uniform. Can you hear? She's been so challenging at the minute. It's unbelievable. And I'm losing my temper with her and yeah, I'm just... Obviously, I'm not going to carry around a camera filming that, am I? But yeah, just to let you know, <laughs> just remember these videos are edited. Um, but I always want to convey and tell you that like, oh my gosh, yeah, we've had plenty of challenging moments today from all of them. But by a mile, Stan is the easiest. That's all for now, guys. Despite a few challenging moments, I've had a really lovely day because that's family life, isn't it? And it's really, really good to be vlogging. Again, I feel like I've had this kind of it's great to be back chat like so many times recently, but I really genuinely am back now. And I might miss the odd video here and there because I'm starting my digital mums course tomorrow, which is like a refresher. Even though I'm experienced in marketing, that's what I did before YouTube and blogging and being a stay-at-home mum. Uh, it's like a refresher course. Um, and I'm going to see where it takes me. And I just was really indecisive about doing it for ages. And I just thought, just do it. See what happens. So I'm going to have a lot more on my plate. So I was thinking of doing some videos about how to cope when you have more on your plate and stuff like that. So, yeah. Cleaning videos, um, quick family meals, that type of thing. I can't stop talking. I'm going to go now and have a cup of tea and a chocolate something or other. Because tomorrow my healthy eating starts as well. <laughs> Guys, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do say hello in the comments and let me know what you've been up to. Bye.